Welcome to Mathematics with M's Grade 8 lesson, Algebraic Expressions. Don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. An algebraic expression is a representation of the operations that are done on numbers in that expression. For example, the sentence, the sum of a number and 2. We can replace the number with x and the sum with a plus. So now the expression will look like this, x plus 2. We use symbols to write words and numbers algebraically. For example, in the sentence, 28 added to a certain number gives 42. We can replace now a certain number with x added to with a plus gives with an equal sign. So now the problem will be 28 plus x equals to 42. A variable is a letter that represents an unknown number. It is called a variable because its value in the equation or expression can change. For example, a x, a y, a alpha, a n, a theta, etc. A constant is a specific number whose value in the equation or expression is fixed. For example, a 7, a negative 12, pi, a 3 quarter, etc. Let us identify variables and constants in the following term. The negative 12 is a constant. Right, the x is a variable, the y is a variable, and the 2 is the exponent. Of course, negative 12 can also be called the coefficient. Like terms contain the same letters of the alphabet and the same exponents. Example of like terms are a 3x, a 4x, a negative 6x, a half x, a 0, 0,34x even a 3 plus 4 in brackets x, because all the terms have the same variable x. So the constant values can be different, but the letters must be the same. 12ab squared, negative 3ab squared, a 3 quarter ab squared, all the terms have the variable ab squared. Note that constants do not affect whether terms are like or unlike. Unlike terms contain different letters of the alphabet and or different exponents. Examples of unlike terms are 11x squared y squared and 11xy. Now don't think because they both got 11 they like. No, the letters are different. 3p and 3. No, they are not the same because 3p and 3 and p cube are all different. So therefore they unlike terms. A power consists of a base, the number which is multiplied by itself or raised to a power, b, the index, the number of times the base is multiplied by itself, or the power to which the base is raised. If you look at the drawing, you can see that a is the base, b is the exponent, and both a and b together is the power. Like terms contain the same letters of the alphabet and the same exponents. Unlike terms contain different letters of the alphabet and or different exponents. A coefficient is the constant in front of a variable or group of variables. For example, negative 3x squared has a coefficient of negative 3, which is a constant. The coefficient has a plus or a minus sign in front of it. The absence of a coefficient in a term is equivalent to 1. If you, in other words, if you, if you apparently don't see anything in front of the letter, you must naturally assume there is a 1. In a polynomial, that's an expression with more than one term, each term has its own coefficient. For example, x squared, its coefficient is plus 1. Negative 3y squared, its coefficient is negative 3. 15x cubed, its coefficient is positive 15. Always write the number before the letter of the alphabet. An exponent is a power to which a variable is raised. All four operations can be performed on like terms, namely addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Addition and subtraction cannot be performed on unlike terms, only multiplication and division. Addition and subtraction separate terms, and division, multiplication, and brackets do not 
separate terms. For example, P plus Q has two terms separated by the plus sign. ABC has one term because it is A times B times C. X plus 1 over X minus 2 has one term because the division line do not separate them. K plus L plus M minus P has two terms because each bracket is a term on its own. Negative 3 PQ minus 5 P plus 1 has two terms because negative 3 PQ is one term, negative 5 into P plus 1 is another term. The expression 5AB plus 6B minus 7AB minus 2B has four terms. We can collect the like terms, namely 5AB, negative 7AB, and then of course 6B and minus 2B are like. We can add 5AB minus 7AB to give us minus 2AB, and 6B minus 2B is 4B. So the answer, therefore, for 5AB plus 6B minus 7AB minus 2B is therefore 4 minus 2AB, or you can switch, you can say negative 2A plus 4B. All right, this is Ahmed Suleiman with Mathematics with Amps. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.